Lesson 12.1a, Proving the Pythagorean Theorem. Pythagoras was a Greek philosopher who sought to interpret the entire physical world in terms of numbers. He's best known for the theorem of the right-angled triangle. He lived from 580 to 500 BC. So here's zero. BC is before Christ. AD is after his death. So we're going to go back 100 years before Christ, 200, 300, 400, 500. So he lived from 580 to 500 BC. In a right triangle, the two sides that form the right angle are the legs. The side opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of a right triangle is its longest side. So the Pythagorean theorem states in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. What they're saying is if A and B are legs and C is the hypotenuse, then A squared plus B squared will equal C squared. Whatever the length of A is, we square it, A times A. Whatever the length of B is, B times B, it's squared, will equal C times C, C squared. So the very first step is we draw a right triangle on a piece of paper and cut it out. We make one leg shorter than the other. So we have a short leg and a long leg. Step two, we trace our triangle onto another piece of paper like this, and we do it four times. So we put it up in the corner like this, and we trace it and draw our hypotenuse, the long side. And we're going to rotate this triangle around, slowly tracing it. See that? So it's actually doing a rotation. And we're not going to flip it over. We're going to keep it like this and rotate it, trace it, rotate it, trace it, and then rotate it, trace it one more time. And we're going to end up with a square in the middle. We trace our triangle onto another piece of paper four times without flipping it over. We label each shorter leg A, each longer leg B, and each hypotenuse C. So you notice all the hypotenuse C are on the inside facing into the square. So it's each side of this square. So we've got our short side A our long side B, see that? Short side A, long side B, going all the way around. Now observe, there is this square in the center of our paper. And the area of a square is found with the formula A for area is equal to side square. That's the side length squared, so it's side times side. And the area of the square here is C square units. We have C times C, that's C squared. We label it C squared. The fourth step is we trace the triangle onto another piece of paper four times again, repeating step two. So we have another one of these, except this time, when we make the other one of these with the four triangles in the square in the center, we're going to cut the triangles out. So we've made four cutout triangles. And we have our original one that's shaped like this. And we draw a square that's the same size as the uncut original one from step two. See how it fits on this big square? See that? We place the four triangles on it as shown. So I've put two here to make a rectangle and two here to make a rectangle. The blank upper left portion is B square units. We've got B times B. If you look at these pieces, okay, so here we've got one, and we've got B is the long side, right? Well, this side is the length of B. So this is B, and if I turn this, this length is B. So we have B squared, and we know this short side is A. If we put it here, we've got this square's side is A, and this one is A. So this is A squared. So this is B squared in area, and this is A squared in area.
the total area of the upper blank portion is a squared plus b squared, which is equal to the total area of the cutout center square, c squared. This a squared area and this b squared area is equal to this c squared area. So here we have a right triangle, and here's side A, here's side B, and it's telling us that side A is 3 inches in length, and side B is 4 inches in length. Well, we know A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared now. We can find the length of this hypotenuse by doing 3 squared plus 4 squared. 3 squared is 9, 3 times 3, 4 squared is 16, 4 times 4, we have 9 plus 16 is equal to c squared. Well, 9 plus 16 is 25. That means 25 is equal to c squared. We remove this to exponent and put a radical sign around the 25 to find the square root of 25. Well, that's 5. 5 times 5 is 25. That tells us that c is 5 inches long. We're finished with part a. We're going to move on to part b using the Pythagorean theorem. And we'll do more problems like the one we just did. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.